Hello everyone! Have you had the chance to experience raising these soft turtles yet? Join us on this journey to explore the uniqueness of turtle farming in Asia right now. True to their name, they have a soft shell instead of a hard bony shell like other turtle species. Soft shell turtles are not only known for this unique shell, but also for their distinct delicious meat flavor. That's why many farmers have switched to raising millions of these turtles to meet the demand for their tasty mead. Join us on a visit to softshell turtle farms to explore how farmers nurture millions of these fascinating creatures. Softshell turtles typically have a laying cycle twice a month producing around 17 to 18 eggs each time. On average, each softshell turtle can lay between 34 and 36 eggs per month. To maximize the emergence of baby turtles, farmers carefully collect and manage the eggs from the nesting grounds. Would you like to become a farmer on these farms? If yes, please leave a 1. If not, please leave a 0. After harvesting the eggs from the nesting sites, we transfer softshell turtle eggs into containers, with each container holding around 500 eggs, and covered with a layer of sand about 3 to 4 centimeters thick. To ensure an efficient hatching process, the temperature in this environment is maintained steadily at around 35 to 40 degrees Celsius. This helps create an ideal nurturing environment for the healthy development of the baby turtles. If left to occur naturally, the incubation period for softshell turtle eggs typically extends to around 60 days. However, with human intervention, this process can be significantly shortened to just about 40 to 50 days. Positive human intervention not only reduces the incubation time, but also ensures success in caring for and protecting the newly hatched softshell turtles. Every year, this farm supplies around 10,000 baby turtles per day. A truly impressive number. Would you want to start a business with this turtle breed? From what I know, with just about 8 cents, you can own a newly hatched softshell turtle. With minimal capital, you have the potential to become the owner of a softshell turtle farm. 
This could be a great opportunity to start a new business journey. In the early stages of life, they will be fed a special type of brand pellet. Larger softshell turtles will be fed natural live foods, such as river fish, small sea fish, eels, frogs, golden apple snails, earthworms, and mealworms. When softshell turtles reach a weight of 1.5 kilograms or more, additional pellet feeds can be mixed in to enhance their growth. These turtles seem to thrive in the warm climate of Asia. In farms designed for meat processing, there are some softshell turtle breeds that are popular for their rapid growth and high-quality meat, such as the Chinese softshell turtle, the red-eared slider, and the Malayan softshell turtle. To prevent the development of parasites or diseases like ulcerative shell disease in these small softshell turtles, farmers will clean their enclosures approximately every three months. The rearing water source also needs to be consistently maintained at an optimal level for its best development. After two to three years, these turtles will be ready for harvesting. This is the most anticipated moment for farmers. They use rakes to search for the softshell turtles hidden beneath the mud. It seems like these farmers have had a successful harvest. Turtle meat is a favorite dish in many countries such as Japan, Vietnam, and Taiwan. Soft-shell turtle meat is an excellent taste experience, bringing uniqueness and allure to those who savor it. The flavor of soft-shell turtle meat is a harmonious blend of deliciousness and a slight sweetness creating a distinctive taste unlike any other type of mead. This could be attributed to the turtle's natural diet, often consisting of natural and nutrient-rich foods, contributing to the special flavor of the mead. Soft-shell turtle meat is not only delicious, but also a rich source of nutrients. Known for its high protein content, unsaturated fats, vitamins, minerals, and collagen.
live independently on land? In the specialized farming system, the frogs are meticulously cared for, and the nurturing process extends from six months to one year to ensure the harvest of plump, meaty frogs. After harvesting, the frogs embark on a journey to the processing plant. Here they are cleaned, sorted, and packaged, ready for the export process. Additionally, frog meat can be processed into various delicious dishes. In addition to frog farming, people also have a preference for snail farming, a seemingly unique farming style that has become popular in France. Snails not only provide high nutritional benefits and serve as raw materials for cosmetics, but also generate significant income. Currently, snail farming has become widespread in many countries, such as China, Chile, Algeria, and the United States. Breeders initiate the snail farming process by stimulating their reproduction. They create a living environment similar to the natural habitat and provide food to encourage snails to be active, roam, and engage in the mating process. After snails reproduce, the hatching process takes place carefully in a separate room. Breeders separate each cluster of eggs into boxes for them to develop into baby snails, then release them outside to become accustomed to independent life.
Once independent, snails are cared for in an environment with 70 to 90 percent humidity, stable temperature, subdued lighting, and nutrient-rich food. The farming system is constructed flexibly, ensuring suitable soil and substrate for the specific type of snail. After approximately one year of snail farming, the snails are harvested and awaiting transportation to the processing plant. Snails are a treasure trove of collagen, vitamin E, allantoin, and glycolic acid. This is precisely why they are always considered a top choice for creating special skincare products, aiming to rescue troubled skin and rejuvenate dull complexions. Additionally, snails are also transformed into delicious and enticing dishes. This is our channel. This is the channel manager. This is the video editor. And this is the content creator.